all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so today we're going to take a look at how your person is feeling about you so this is a pick a card reading so take a minute to see which crystal is resonating with you which crystal is calling out to you and then we're going to jump in if you guys want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box all right there is a promotion going on so let's start off with pile number one which is the rose quartz so i'm just going to move these over Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, let's find out. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you right now? Oh, I was like, why am I missing the other cards? Sorry, the other ones were down at the bottom. Okay, so we have embarrassed. We have third party. Ace of wands. The eight of wands. Ooh, fiery. We got, oh gosh, wow. Okay, we got the knight of cups. Their messages are, I'm scared you will lose interest in me. And we have, you're the one. Okay, wow. Ooh, okay, this is a strong energy from this person. Okay, so let's look at the obvious that we're all noticing right now, which is the third party and the you're the one. So, if this person is involved, if this person got you stuck in a love triangle, they know that you're the one. So that's not a question in their mind. Um, like, again, like maybe this person's already with someone, maybe they left you for someone else, maybe they couldn't make up their mind, whatever it is. But this person is feeling like you are the one, okay? They wanna tell you this, they wanna express themselves. There's so much passion here. We've got the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, so we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have Embarrassed, which makes me feel like this person and the embarrassed is next to the third party. So I think that this person is embarrassed that maybe they gave more of their time to this third party, or maybe they're embarrassed that they even got involved with a third party in the first place. Because it might have actually been revealing their insecurities. Because we have embarrassed itself, self conscious, awkward, and exposed. So this person feels like you saw some part of them that they didn't want you to see. Like you saw their insecurities or you saw their like doubts about themselves. Like they're embarrassed about something that they did or how they came across because I think it, it almost revealed to you something that they were just not ready to show you, if that makes sense. But what's overriding this energy is passion, like so much passion, so much attraction. This person wants to sweep you off your feet knight of cups eight of wands ace of wands but what's interesting is like they are not totally confident that you feel the same way that they feel or even if you do i think this person is worried that like once they fully pursue you you're gonna lose interest and maybe that's why they got involved with a third party maybe it was like their way of trying to keep your interest but they realized that it actually didn't work like it might have backfired on them because maybe they were trying to make you jealous or something like that and i feel like it backfired but this person i'm going to clarify this here um why are they scared that you're going to lose interest in them the high priestess they feel like they feel that they have this like internal it's, a, it's almost like a gut feeling for them, like with the high priestess. Um, the other thing I'm getting is like, this is probably someone who, when it comes to you in this connection, they might have been trying to do everything the right way. Like they might have been trying to portray to you someone that may not be truly what they actually are. And so I think that this person is worried that like once you see the real them once you see who they really are just in their normal kind of everyday sort of life versus like the facade of excitement that maybe they've been trying to portray they're worried that you're going to lose interest like i think this person is worried that they're not exciting enough for you or that they're not going to be exciting enough for you and so this person may have created unnecessarily or unnecessary drama to keep your interest and now it backfired because maybe you guys didn't respond to it well Okay, because they feel like you're the one. They have, yeah, look at this. The King of Pentacles just fell out the Justice card. This person wants to marry you. We got the King of Pentacles and the Justice. This person has thought about marriage with you. 
They see you as the one. They're, you're the one they want to commit to. You're the one that they want to marry. But again, um, it's almost like you know, like you know, you go through the honeymoon phase of the connection. It's super exciting. And then you reach that more kind of stable energy where it's like, okay, you know the person, they know you. There's a level of comfort. And sometimes what can creep in is like a little bit of boredom. I think this person is worried about the boredom aspect with you in terms of them worried that they will not be able to keep your attention after you guys get through that honeymoon phase. That's a fear for them. So unfortunately, I think the way that they compensated for this fear is to potentially cause jealousy or create a love triangle okay but anyways guys that's what i have for pal number one so i hope that resonated if you guys want to book your own personal reading my information is down below in the description box so let's move on to pile number two okay if you guys chose this crystal here let's see how does this person feel about you Okay, pile number two. Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. We have the Six of Cups. Soulmate. Excited. Separation. And I know how you feel about me. Okay, so first thing that I noticed with this reading, maybe you guys did as well, is the, all the commitment energy, right? Even the soulmate too. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the soulmate. Um, so strong committed energy. So for some of you guys, maybe you were married to this person or you were committed or you are. If you know you're not or haven't been, then this is how this person is feeling. Like they're thinking and feeling like you're the one that they want to commit to. You're their soulmate. They feel like you guys have some sort of a past life connection but for others of you it could also be that you guys have a history like i'm getting kind of two two scenarios here some of you may have a long-term history with this person where you are already committed to them for a long time or you were already married to them hence the six of cups hence history if if you weren't then this person feels like you guys had a past life together like they feel a sense of familiarity with you they feel definitely like you're their soulmate okay um this is actually really I just literally realized what I what this is. Okay, we have excited We have separation. Okay, I need to get clarifiers. Can you please clarify excited? We have the three of cups Oh gosh, what why is separation here? And I know how you feel about me Okay, this took a bit of a turn. I gotta be honest, actually, what I'm feeling from this, weird because it felt so strong. So what I think I'm picking up on is the past. I feel like I'm picking up on past energy where at some point in this connection, I think things were really good. Like, I think things were really good. Either you ended up committing to this person or married them or things were moving in that direction. Like, I'm getting a strong, positive energy strong soulmate energy like bonded you know talked about the future i'm getting like very good energy but then something happened between the two of you i don't know what um oh okay whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. let me back it up okay this has never happened ever in the history of me doing tarot <laughs> I just got a very clear message of what this was and then it just like turned. So I'm gonna give you the new message that I'm getting here because it kind of makes sense because I was like, what is going on? That doesn't seem right. But I try not to like think about it from my perspective because again, it's not my reading. So it's like, I try to be like just very, you know, aware of that. But okay, so this is what I'm getting. I'm gonna give you the new message that's coming through. If you are connected to someone if you have found your soulmate but you were already married or you were already involved or they were already married or they were already involved this person 
is leaving or you're leaving and I feel like your person is so excited that finally this third party is gone like finally you guys are not having a third party situation finally you guys are free to actually pursue this beautiful soulmate connection that you guys have um they know how you feel about them i feel like you guys are both aware of this connection that's not a secret but i think that you guys were separated because someone else was already involved which is creating a block so it's like both of you guys knew that you had this beautiful connection and you wanted something together but you know obviously someone else was already like involved and it created issues I think this person is excited because they're like, oh my god, finally, we're both free, we're both available for each other, we can now actually pursue this in a healthy way. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. So this person is like well aware of how you feel. I don't think that there's any, you know, there's not any worry for them. I think they're more so just excited that now, whatever this third party was, it's now out of the way so that you guys can actually pursue this soulmate connection. Okay? So weird kind of weird twist around but that's what i have for pilot number two so i hope that resonated if you guys want to book something personal my information is down below but let's move on to pile number three okay so if you guys chose this crystal here let's find out how does this person feel eight of pentacles the fool the five of cups we have fall longing their messages we have seductive and we have i want to take you on a trip okay so pile number three yeah this person okay interesting um right away i just noticed the imagery on this card which there is like a postcard or some mail sitting on that table so I kind of feel, and I this may not be for everyone, so let's just say this is only going to be for a few of you guys. Take it if it resonates. My palm is itching right now too as I'm saying this. For some of you, you could be, this is long distance. This is like a long distance love for some of you. Not all of you, but for some of you. So this whole trip that they want to take, I think is not really like a vacation. It's more like I want to travel back to you. I want to see you. I want to take a plane to go see you or take the bus or train, whatever. Especially if it is a long distance type of thing. That's just for some of you guys. Um, but let's dive into exactly how they're feeling. Okay. So one thing that I'm getting is that they've been kind of depressed lately um over this connection and i think the depression is because of the distance between the two of you so for some of you it is actually physical distance like it is actually i live on the other side of the world or we live in different sides of the city or whatever others of you if it's not physical distance it's emotional distance you guys have been distant from each other emotionally there's some blockage and i have to say this person is like really moody over this very moody five of cups the fall card the fall card typically is like my depression card um i don't know if you guys realize how much you affect this person i'm getting specific message that like when this person is at work the people that they work with are like wondering what is wrong with this person like why are they so moody like why are they so like down all the time because this connection affects their mood so much um the other thing that I'm getting is that this person has trust issues. And I don't know if they've revealed this to you, but I think that this affects, it also affects their mood. Cause I'm kind of getting like someone who has a little bit of a negative attitude when it comes to love, like almost like a pessimistic attitude, kind of like, oh, it's not gonna work out anyways. Or um, it's, it feels a little bit, I feel like this person has been kind of um, jaded when it comes to love. They're very attracted to you. So you have this very seductive nature about you that makes this person want to just jump in, fall in, um, fall for you essentially. Like there's something very alluring, something very seductive about you or potentially even just like your energy could be very seductive. And I feel like it causes this person to um, really pay a lot of attention to you, to fixate on you. Kind of another weird message that I'm getting is that this person, <laughs> some of this, these readings lately have been weird. This person may be into like, regardless of their gender, okay? This person actually may be into like some witchcraft type of thing. Like, 
it feels like this person is doing techniques to try to get the two of you together like with this eight of pentacles i'm just feeling like this person either is into like tarot witchcraft um could be manifestation even they may be trying to manifest you i'm getting some energy of like they're taking spiritual modalities and trying to fix the situation or trying to draw you in somehow mainly because i feel like when it comes to them actually stepping up and being vulnerable i think again their trust issues affect them and that could be why they're down in the dumps because even if they want to like pursue you i don't think that they do i think there's something about this person that like maybe feels safer like watching you from afar or just like longing for you but never let me clarify it just it feels like someone who doesn't really act on what they're feeling let's see yeah we have the death card in reverse and look at this death card it's kind of a weird image isn't it like it's like a man the face is gone it's like this cloak this person like stalks you it almost feels like a bit like a secret admirer type of vibe so that makes me feel like some of you guys may not even know the depth of this person's feelings because they don't show it at all but deep down they're like secretly trying to manifest you and get you back but on the surface you wouldn't know it this also could be someone from your past could be a scorpio here this could be also someone who has like um if this is someone from your past they haven't been able to let you go is what i'm getting they haven't been able to move on from you they may have regrets about the past but if anything this just feels like someone who is very moody and the other thing i'm getting is that this person when they're at work people notice this like they really question like what is going on with this person i don't know why this makes me feel like this is kind of like a God, I feel like I'm so like hesitant to even say what I'm what's coming through because it's so random. I'm getting, I'm getting so many random messages for this reading for this pile. Um Okay, I'll say one thing. This person may be someone who wears a lot of like black clothing or comes across in kind of like an emo type of way. I don't know if they are emo because I don't. I haven't even used that word in God knows about 15 years. But it's like there's something there's something darker about this energy or this person. There's a darkness. I don't know what I'm picking up on. I'm just picking up on like a darker energy. Hopefully, you guys you, you can understand that. But that's what I have for pile number three. So I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.